Welcome to another Old Timer Center video, guys. Have a look at this very pretty Zircon Silver 1999 CLK320. It's known as the C208 series internally. And it's in the Elegance trim line. These are really nice cars. I love the coupe. It's something a bit different, you know, from an E-Class sedan. It's badged as a CLK, but it is on the E-Class platform. So that's the W210 platform. And just walking around the paint, for a 16-year-old car, it's obviously been ridiculously well looked after. It's glossy and reflective. And a bonus, it's lived its life in Mossman. On Sydney's North Shore. The only fault I can really pick them on is a mild little scuff there, which we will have touched up anyway. You even got a sedan sized boot on these. It's cavernous. I don't know if this will give you any sort of idea of depth perception, but I couldn't touch the back. Another nice thing is it's got its original warning triangle, its original CD stacker, its original boot mat, original spare and jack. All components look as though they haven't been used. Just all in very tidy, original condition. And that resounding thunk you get with not many other brands. Stepping on in, you're greeted with gorgeous black leather, original Benz floor mats, and a forest worth of boiled walnut. This is probably one of my favorite features, is this trim all the way throughout the top. And then you look over the hood and of course, are greeted with that familiar three-pointed star. On the clock, we've got just 84,360 original kilometers with corresponding logbooks. Down here, you've got the five-speed automatic with sports and winter shift mode. So if you have it in sport, what that will do is the car will hold the gears a little longer and rev the engine a little longer to make the most power available. If you have it in winter, the car will take off in second gear for a more comfortable ride and also when you're in the snow, that will stop wheel spin. So this five speed is routed to the rear wheels. Down here we've got a cup holder, large storage space in the glove box, original stereo with the corresponding CD stacker in the back. I like the original stereo, it's, it's, it's nice when you hop in a, a car and it hasn't all been chopped up with one of those ugly cheap face plates. So firing up the bends. All the warning signs go off, except of course for my seatbelt light. It stays on a bit longer, letting me know I need to pop that on. The 3.2 in these is whisper quiet. It makes around 228 horsepower and around 150 to 160 kilowatts. I'll have to double check on those figures for you. And you'll get great economy around town. So it revs freely, it revs nicely. And it's just a very tight car. I love the coupe feeling. These seats are cocooning. They're very well bolstered, as you can see. And, you know, large or small, you're very comfortable in here. They are, of course, electrically adjustable in the typical Benz fashion. You've got the three-person memory and the adjustment switches here. So this little one will actually adjust your headrest. Going to pop the hood for you now. Bear with me. 
So under here we have that renowned Benz 3.2 litre V6. This was a silky smooth power plant. It made great power and great torque. And it saw use in almost all of Mercedes at the time. It was in the S320, it was in the C320, it was in the E320. It was in the ML320. So you know, servicing, maintenance costs are really low, parts are readily available, and with just 80,000 and some change, this engine should see 250 plus before any major top end work, if you look after and maintain it. Headlights don't have any sun damage or crazing, really good shape. I love these almost, they're a homage to the AMG monoblock rim. We're wearing four near new Pirelli tires on 205, 55, R16 rims. And they're not all gutter ashed out, they're in great shape. If you want a car for around town or something comfortable on the highway, you really can't go past this. V6 rear wheel drive, which is motoring as it ought to be. Zircon silver looks great. It's the best colour for a Benz in my opinion. And we are the Old Timer Centre, www.old.com.au. And you can find our contact details there.